uh, somewhere in this stuff. And to me, if you don't ask the right questions, then you can't head in the right direction. And if you start to ask yourself the question, what is it? So you see, when you look at that thing that you bought and you're convinced of, let me ask you to do something. Make a picture in your mind in the same place of yourself leaving here in three days, being more confident, being able to suddenly motivate yourself easily. We're going to teach you things about how your brain works and how other people's brain works. Because it's not enough to persuade other people. You have to start with yourself. You have to persuade yourself that, you, that if you have a few tricks up your sleeve, that you'll be able to change the way in which you speak, the speed at which you speak, the tone at which you use. Some people don't even know enough about English to know it comes in th that they know there are questions, there are statements, and there are commands. And it's all done tonally. So you can embed commands inside of language so that when you tell people, well, by now, you're probably ready to look at these contracts. <laughs> it embeds the command, by now, by and by, you'll see, you know. By and by, as we go through this, you know, you're going to need this. I always like to start people off in things by asking them to think of something that they were absolutely sure they wanted, absolutely convinced was a good idea. And as they start to think about it, I interrupt them. And when they do, I go, excuse me. And when they look at me, I always make a marker right in the sky, just like Pavlov did with the bell. I mark it out so I can get that feeling back inside them. Human beings are incredibly responsive. 